out this mindset, you not envy anybody in ministry. Yeah. Because a lot of ministers are envying, as I'm talking to you. Unless they don't see you progressing. They don't, they don't see something new happening to you. They want to be like you. No, no, no. We, we are not the same. And our, our, our road map is not the same. It's not. That is why when you open my, thing, my, my hands and you open your own, you realize that it's not the same. Yeah, look at the marks. My own, where my own is. Can you imagine? Almost 3 billion people in the world. My own is different for everybody. Your own is different for everybody. Wow. How wonderful God has made us. Hallelujah. Now let's look at the second wisdom key for effective ministry. Second wisdom key for effective ministry. We need to understand that ministry is an assignment into which God calls. Number one, God calls. Listen to this. Number one, God calls. So God calls. It is not man call. It is not people's call. It's God who calls. Now after God calls, he chooses. God chooses the assignment you have to play. You don't tell God what you want to do. You don't tell God. God will tell you what he wants you to do. So he chooses the assignment for you. And then God allocates specific assignment to people. That is the doing of the Lord. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. We realize that God initiated what we call the fivefold ministry. Now, in the fivefold ministry, you don't tell God, God, I want to be an apostle. No, 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 no. You don't tell God. You don't tell God, God, I want to be a prophet. You don't tell God, you want to be a teacher. No, no, no. You don't tell God. It is God's own wisdom that He decides where you are supposed to be. And whatever God decides about you, that is, that is the giftings he will give you so that you can accomplish what he has decided concerning your assignment. There are a lot of people, they have certain gifts that doesn't go to what they say they are. It is wrong. It means they don't know who they are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. So we don't decide the call of God on us. God decides. Understand that if God has called you, you should know that God has called you. And there's no way God will call you and you will not know. You know. Yeah, because he will give you requisite, you know, evidence to that. Let's go to the book of Mark chapter 3, verse 14. Mark chapter 3. Let's read the verse 14. Mark chapter 3. There's something very important we need to understand concerning the call of God. And there's a mistake a lot of pastors are doing or ministers are doing. And I want us to correct that mistake. Mark 3, 14, please. You can read it for us. Mark 3. If you are there, read it loudly. Loudly. Uh huh. And he ordained 12. And he ordained 12. Now, the, wait. the word ordained there means he called. Okay. Uh huh. Continue, please. That, that they should be with you. Listen. When God calls you, the first thing he requires of you is to be with him. You must be with him. You must be with him. Now, the word be with him connotes waiting. Write it down. The word be with him means or connotes waiting, waiting. You must learn how to wait on God. We have a lot of people who are in ministry right now. They don't know what waiting is. And so they don't wait on God. No, no, no. They don't. The only time you see them waiting on God is when probably there's a problem. Then they go and wait. Say, I'm co waiting. I'm co waiting. Who is serious? You're saying, I'm co waiting. No. The fact that God has called you, He called you to be with Him. That is the essence of the call. That is the essence of the call. The reason why God wants you to be with Him, you will see it. Please continue reading it. And that. And that. He might send, he might send them to do what? Preach. To preach. So before God will send you, you must be with Him. Before God will send you. If you have not been with God, he can't send you. There are a lot of people in ministry. God has not sent them. Oh, they are on their own. <laughs> they are sending themselves. Oh, there are so many people like that. God has not sent them. They are sending themselves. Can you imagine? You are sending yourself. Now, write this down. When God calls, when God calls, he equips. He sends. 